Thanks, Eric. We are still learning all about Habitat for Humanity today. I'm joined now by a very hardworking volunteer. Greg, you've been uh, hanging out on site here, helping out. What kinds of things have you been doing here at this site? Well, at this particular site, I uh, was here for some of the framing, okay. and I've been here for painting and doing uh, just some of the other general uh, inner, inner side, inside work. Uh, okay. So, yeah, that's. But I've also been spending time at some of the other sites as well. So okay. Was, and so, how long have you been doing this then? I, I've really about a year now. I've been spending a fair bit of time, uh, uh, at least you know one, one or two, two times a month or so, whatever else. And, why was this something that you wanted to get involved with? Why did you check it out to begin with? Well, Habitat, uh, I've read up a bit about it and it's definitely a cause that I believe in. Yeah. It's, they, uh, there's plenty of studies that show that to break the cycles of uh, poverty and stuff like that, having a stable home is very important for kids and, mm -hmm. and families. So that's, I, I certainly believe in that. And then kind of my own interest sake is that I get to learn some skills that I don't yeah. have so I'm quite happy with that as well. Awesome so. now there are several different elements uh, and different skills to pick up do you have a favorite part of all of this framing painting what's your favorite? Uh, so far uh, so far I'd say the framing okay. trying to get into the inner skeleton of the, the builds is a little more fun than I, I've done more painting in my life so right. that gets a little repetitious. I but, think uh, painting sucks so <laughs> <laughs> awesome well thank you so much for chatting with us today if you want to find out more about Habitat for Humanity in Saskatoon, check out their website and keep watching today's episode of Go Saskatoon.